since being on The Voice, uh, I've got one funny thing that kind of happened. A few of us from The Voice went out to lunch. Like I went to get groceries. This woman comes running up and she's like, oh my God, Harrison, I love you. You're amazing. Are oh, you going to win this? I thought there's no way I'm going to be able to carry all these bags home. So I thought I'll just put it in the trolley and I'll, you know, I'll wheel the trolley back to the hotel. And, and she turns to us and she goes, oh, you're all very good too. And we're just like, oh. And what do you even do? <laughs> I didn't realise it, but the supermarket has a magnetic field on the floor. Well, people have just shouted my name out without me knowing who they were. So as soon as you go off that magnetic field, the brakes go on the front of the thing. So I'm in the middle of Sydney wheeling this trolley. And they're going, hey Steve! I'm going like, hey. <laughs> do I know you? No. This guy starts walking next to me and he just sort of stops and just looks at me and puts his hand up in the air for a high five. There was quite a lot of people at the, uh, the restaurant um, and it was two floors and it was packed um, so I walked in and I thought no one's gonna know who I am. Every time I hit a bump I almost went A over T over the front of the trolley it was just hilarious. it's six o'clock at night traffic everywhere and he didn't say anything I'm just like okay we're doing this high five you know I didn't have to wait in line I didn't you know I didn't have to pay for entry um, it's pretty pretty good just got in you know <laughs> so at the end of the dinner, I went up to the thing, they're like, oh, we've been watching you on the TV. I was like, oh, wow, thank you. People looking at things, is that the guy from the TV show just like wheeling like a homeless trolley down the middle of the street? They got me into the kitchen and I stood in the middle of the kitchen with all of the big old Italian men around me and we had this like weird sweaty hug. That's the first thing someone asked me, is that you? Which is a bit weird. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sure who I'm supposed to be or who they think I am. A, um, a grown man, 30, about 35, just stops me outside the cafe and I'm like, he's like, hey man, you're the guy from the boss. I say, hey man, how are you? First thing he says to me, he goes, mate, you made me cry. He goes, you made me and my whole family cry. My kids were crying and I cried. I gave some like autographs and I was just like, what do you, how, what do you say? I was like, well, you better stop because we're both going to cry right now. <laughs> you know? There's some bike rider guy that, that ran past me and said, hey man, are you that guy from The Voice? And just as I said yes, uh, the front trolley, the trolley went down the gutter and all the groceries went all over the street. In it like, oh, hello. <laughs> I'm not that famous yet, but. Here you go. So it was a glorious, glamorous um, rock star kind of day for me. <laughs>